Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video I'm going to add a global search to our project and also I'm going to sort the group navigation how I want it and also I'm going to add pages on the employees and maybe on the users and also on the departments. We can add all but I'm going to add only on the employees, users and department. Now to enable the global search on your model you must set a title attribute for your resource. So I'm going to add on the employees first. Let's open the VS code and here we are on the employee resource. Now we need to add a new attribute here. So let's say protected static string dollar sign record title attribute and here I'm going to add for the employee resource I'm going to add the first name first underscore name and if I save that let's open let's refresh and here we have the global search now let's search for example for this one yeah here we have employees and we have the employee here if I click we navigate to the edit page of this employee. Your resource needs to have an edit or a view page to allow the global search results to link to URL. Otherwise, uh, no results will be returned for this resource. Okay? So the employees needs to have a view or edit page. Otherwise, it's not going to show up here. And you may customize the title by uh, overwriting the get global search results title method. So let's do that. Let's create new method and I'm going to create right here. So public static function. And the name of the function is get global search global search results title. And here accept the model and it need to return the string so let's return that return and here we need to override the title we added first name so let's change that to last name so i'm going to say record last name and let's save if i refresh now and let's search for this one again so plot okay we searched here is the employee but now it's going to display the last name not the first name as you can see okay now if you like to search across multiple columns of your resource we need to override new method so let's go and do that so open this one and create a new method public static function and the name is get global searchable attributes yeah this one and it needs to return an array so let's do that let's return an array and here we need to specify the columns to search so I'm going to search for the first name also for the last name and maybe the middle name good but let's uh, just cut this save and just to show you if i refresh and if i search for the last name here right now yeah we have no search results found and if i save this and I refresh again and search now for the last name now we have the employee and we navigate to the edit page of that employee now we can add also a dot notation here and the dot notation allow you to search inside a relationship so for example we can say uh, country dot name if I save and come here and refresh and let's say for Albania and here we have the employees below to the Albania if you like I'm not going to do that 
OK, let's save. Now also you can add extra details to the global search and search results can display details below their title which give the user more information about the records and to enable this feature you may override a new method the get global search results details method so let's do that let's create also the new method public function get global search results details method and it's going to return it's need to return an array so let's do that return an array and for example i'm going to add here just the country so let's say country here and total side record country and display the name of the count if i save here and refresh let's search for this one and the country is albania so here we have now miller and country albania down there okay okay let's close this and let's go back now the country relationship will be lazy loaded which will result in a poor results performance and the eager load the relationships we must override the new method which is the get global search eloquent query and let's do that let's create that method so public static function get global search not results but get global search eloquent query and we need to return a builder so let's return and i'm going to say panel get global search eloquent query and now i'm going to chain with and here i'm going to specify just the country but you can add also the others if i save now and let's refresh let's search again for plateau and yeah here we have okay now that's it all about the global search and let's start and work with the navigation so i'm going to add the page for the employee let's open the employee resource and we need to create a new method to add the page next to the navigation item here we need to create the get navigation badge method and return the content of the badge so let's do that let's come here and let's say public static function not get global search now but the method is get navigation badge so get navigation and we need to return a string so let's say return and i'm going to use the static get model down okay now if i save this and let's come here and refresh yeah here we have the badge for the employees now you can override also all the color of the badge so let's do that just want to show you so public static function and the name of the function is get navigation badge color and let's return here the color for example i'm going to say a uh, warning and if I save come here and refresh yeah we have a warning here and let's open the providers filament admin panel provider and we have danger gray info primary success or warning so let's do the info with the change back info here save and refresh yeah here is the info we also can uh, change conditionally so for example we can say static get model count if the count is greater than five i'm going to add for example the warming color otherwise let's say success and let's say come here and refresh 
now we have warning if I say greater than 10 save we don't have 10 we have only 6 and a refresh now we have success here and let's just copy the badge for also the user resource song without right here and let's save and also on the department resource I'm going to add so scroll up and here I'm going to paste that in let's save come here and refresh here we have for users and for the department now let's uh, order the navigation groups so I'm going to open the admin panel provider and here I'm going to chain let's chain here after the font of the navigation groups and here accept an array so let's do that we have the employee management user management and system management groups so I want the employees to be here then I want the system management and then the user management or if you want the system management at the top but I want the user management at the bottom so let's do that let's say employee management first and I'm going to copy that then the system management And the last one is going to be the user management. Okay, let's save. Let's come here and refresh. Now we have employees management here. We have the system management and then the user management. How we, I want to order them. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. I hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget, if you like such a video, subscribe to my channel like the video, share with your friends because it's going to help me to rank on YouTube and see you in the next one. All the best.